Hello and welcome to Musings by Amit. One subscriber on this channel asked me, Amit, how do I learn Java programming? So in this video, I'm going to give you a three-step process to learn Java programming. So stay till the end. I will also share some resources which will help you in case you want to learn from some online courses. If you are new to this channel, then on this channel, I share tried, tested and proven methods to help you build an unstoppable career in the software industry. So if you are new, then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you can transform your career in the software industry. There are three steps to learning Java programming. The first step is where you are going to write the code and what are the basics that you need to know. So one, you need a Java compiler on your computer. It's also called as JIT or just in time compiler. And second, you, you need something like an Eclipse, which is a integrated development environment on which you can write your code and test your code. The second thing that you need is you need to know the basics of Java programming. How to write a, a program in Java. Second, what how to use variables within Java. What is conditional programming? What are conditional loops? You need to understand the basic algorithm and how you can write a simple program in Java. That will get you started with starting to write code in Java. That is the first step. For anyone who is totally new to Java programming, this can take anywhere from two weeks to five weeks to learn the basics of Java programming. Now the second step is to understand how to debug the code. Now whenever you write a software program, there are chances that there are a lot of mistakes that happen while writing the code. And these are called bugs within the software. And a good programmer knows how to remove the bugs from the software. So the second step to learning Java programming is you need to learn how you can debug the program. One is by manually debugging it, like seeing the code and seeing where it has gone wrong. Or you should also learn how to debug the program at runtime by putting breakpoints using the Eclipse, which is a integrated development environment. Once you know these two things, you will be able to write some simple programs in Java. Now the main part, which is being able to write complex program within Java. For that, you need an understanding of three things. One is object oriented programming. How does object oriented programming work? Second is data structures. You need to learn how to build data structures. That is, you need to understand how you can translate the data, which are objects within the real life into abstract data types within a Java program. And then you need to learn how you can work with this data using simple list or queues or advanced trees or forest, these kind of programming. So you need to know object oriented programming. You need to know data structures in Java and then you need to be able to use list or you need to be able to traverse this data structure so that you can make a meaningful program. So these are the three basic steps of learning Java programming. Now, in case you want to accelerate your learning and you want a proper guidance to learning Java, then there are two courses that I have on this channel. So you can go to the resources page. It is somewhere on the top on my channel and go to the resources page. In the resources page, there are two Java programming uh, courses. One is the basic fundamentals of Java programming and second is the specialization in Java. You can check the syllabus and see if you want to do this course. These courses are free, but if you also want certification, then you will have to pay whatever fee is required for doing this course. If you are choosing Java programming 
as your language of choice then i should tell you that java is one of the top 3 programming languages in demand also java programmers get a better salary than some of the other programming languages if you are looking for streams of software development where you can get high paying jobs then check this video where i talk about 22 streams of software development where you can get highest paying jobs thank you for watching this video stay focused stay rich